Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I have a Medford sent to me by Q1 Fiend. Q1 Fiend has been a massive supporter of the channel. He's been uh, an asset to the channel, a great friend, and he's one of my moderators in the live, and he works really hard during my live, and I can't thank him enough for all the support. You know, he's been to the channel. I mean, he's been supporting the channel since I can remember. And, you know, thank you to everybody who is an asset to the channel and helps support, you know, because you guys definitely make this channel what it is. So I appreciate you, Fiend. Thank you so much. Now, this is one of my Medfords. This is the Medford Slim Midi. And I love this knife. Um, really quick, we'll go through it before we get into this one. We have a titanium frame lock, S35V, and beautiful stone wash. I love how they do this stone wash. Then we have a hand ground, hollow ground blade, beautiful satin on it. And it is riding on bearings, which a lot of Medfords don't ride on bearings. But very, very smooth, very easy to deploy. And it is super slim, you know, hence the name Slim Midi. And you can get these in many different variations and everything. They're very customizable. Now, to get into this bad boy, we have the Medford M48. Now, really quickly, this is a knife design paying homage to the M48 Patton battle tank. It's, you know, from General Patton, and there's a lot of little Easter eggs on this thing for General Patton and the battle tank. Like, you see the tracks right there. That is supposed to be the exact track from, you know, that tank. We have General Patton's dog here, Willie. His uh, dog's name was Willie. It's a bull terrier. Um, I love dogs, so um, I think that's awesome. It's an aluminum show side. And then, you know, let's flip it open. Let's flip it open. First flip, because this is supposed to be a great flipper and a great, like, EDC knife, which Medford doesn't have a ton of, like, EDC knives. Nice flipping action. Definitely. It's, it's on bearing, so it should be, yep, very smooth. It is on bearing, so... Oh, yeah. I feel like I could probably oil it up a little bit, but it is very, very smooth. The detent is nice and strong. It has some really nice jimping. You can tell it is refined in a lot of ways. Very easy to flip. We have a hollow ground um, S35V, and I can tell it's S35 because of the S right there. Now, then we have the spine thickness, which this isn't a really thick spine, but it's a nice, it's a perfect um, thickness for strength. So nice and strong, especially for like this type of folder, um, brings the strength of the spine all the way down to the tip. And then it's got these swedges right here to make this thing extremely durable. Um, you can tell this is a tip you're not going to have to worry about breaking, but then they have the nice hollow ground blade or hollow ground um, that comes down to a nice thin edge and then you can see so in this area it's nice and thin and then from here to here it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker up to the tip the edge i can see is a convex edge probably done on a belt but it is a convex edge which is also going to bring bring up the durability so it's going to be a nice strong edge then we have like i said an aluminum show side you'd think it'd be titanium but not a big deal helps bring down the weight um, nothing wrong with uh, aluminum, especially, you know, like, uh, what is it, 60, 61? Or, you know, there's a bunch of different kinds of aluminum, but I imagine it's, you know, good quality aluminum. Now, this side is titanium. So we have a titanium lock side. Then we have their lock bar stabilizer, which they're starting to use. Um, it's something new. Then we have a deep carry, which looks like a really good clip. Um, I do kind of worry about that because which I've seen from other people's videos that it actually doesn't become a problem, but a lot of times you can get fabric that will come up here and then go around this edge, and then it'll get caught and won't come out of the pocket. But I think that that's tight enough right there where you're not going to have to worry about it. And it is reversible. You can see under the clip where you have that cutout right there because this fits in right there. Now, I think that this does have something to do with the shape. Um, I'm not positive, but there's so many little Easter eggs on this. It's pretty awesome. Ergos, 
nice and comfortable in the hand, even though, you know, this does have the deep care spring clip, doesn't bother me at all. Very, very nice. It is very slim. Kind of reminds me of the same thickness as like the Slim Midi, which is actually just a tiny, tiny bit thicker. Not by much though, not by much. So really, really nice. The lock bar access sucks. A lot of Medfords do. Um, that is one thing I wish she would work on more because like if I pull back up the Slim Midi, you see how you put these squares here? You put these squares here, I don't know, I guess for you to, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly why these are here, but why didn't they just cut one of them out? If you, they would have cut one of them out, I could just come right from the side right here instead of coming around and like squeezing my finger in between there. He put a little cut out right here, but this is like a sharp corner. And a lot of Medfords have very strong lock bars. You know, this one's good, you know, and I'm not, I'm not complaining, but uh, well, I am complaining, but I'd like to see it. I'd like to see a cutout where you can get easier access to the lock bar from the side. Now, when you do unlock it, nice strong lock bar, like I was saying, this is a very strong lock bar. A lot of people will probably pull it like that. Let's see where the detent lies. Nice and early detent, so that's cool. And it is nice and smooth on the drop. I imagine it's only going to get smoother. I can feel this pivot is very tight. And another thing, I, I should have mentioned this already. Look at the construction. It is not like on this one where it is, you know, it's basically um, you got to get a specific um, bit to take this apart. Um, yeah, we have the Torx or maybe it's um, hex back here. I have never taken this one apart, but I'm going to have to soon. Then we have, um, yeah, hex screws, and then but this is its own bit. It's a proprietary bit. Um, I do have bits that will fit it, but this we have, I don't know, like T20 or I don't even know, T50. I have no idea what that is. Oh, no, it's a hex bit. So um, it looks pretty deep. Um, it looks shallow like this, but watch when I turn to the side. You can see it's relatively deep, so that's very cool, um, both sides. And then we have, um, I think these are hex bits all the way around, which I do like to see. Jimping on the flipper tab, um, everything's like nice and knocked down, very refined, no sharp edges at all, which is really nice. Detent is stout. I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to deploy it there. I was just trying to break the detent. It's a pretty stout detent. Very, very easy to kind of do like the hook where you kind of just like snap it like that. Um, not really a push buttoner, but you can get by with it. Um, very, very snappy, especially if you attempt. You know, I can obviously fail it, but very easy to deploy. Like I said, it feels tight in the pivot. I feel like the bearings are a little bit tight in there. I can feel them rolling. And that will break in. Now, Medford's idea behind that is that it comes tight. So then through use and flipping, opening and closing, cutting, it will, the screws will like back out a little tiny bit over some time. And it'll break in extremely smooth without coming apart. So that way, as it breaks in, it'll break into a nice, good action and tightness and it'll still be nice and tight while not compromising and getting blade play eventually so this should stay very solid i know all my other medfords have never never came apart they've all been extremely solid now this one i do want to uh, take apart soon i'm noticing i'm getting a little bit of hiccup right there is did you see that just a little tiny hiccup right there. And then the rest is extremely smooth. Um, so right here, I don't really feel the bearings, but then right there, I all of a sudden feel a bearing move or something. So I need to take it apart. Just take a look at it. There might be a bearing with some gunk on it or something, who knows, um, which I know Medford never was the biggest fan with people taking apart their knives, but I think he's starting to get a little bit more, um, you know, he's starting to open up about that a little bit better. I don't think he ever had a problem with people taking apart. I think his biggest deal was people modding it and taking it apart and messing it up and then expecting them to fix it when they messed it up. Um, you know, obviously, if you take something apart and put it back together and, you know, there's no differences besides that maybe the action got better, nobody's going to know. 
Um, and I'm not telling you what to do with your knife or how to void your warranty or anything. I'm just saying, you know, um, most knives you take apart and put back together. If you do it right, you, you know, who's going to know? Um, or, you know, nobody should know aside from, like I said, the action maybe getting better and it being smoother. But this is very smooth and I can tell this will only get better and better and better and better. And um, I like knives like that. Sometimes, and I've said this a bunch of times, some, some of the knives I love the most are the ones that had to break in or had to, uh, you know, they, as they age, they just get better and better and better. There's knives that as they age, they only get worse. You know, their detents get weaker. They're, you know, just, they just, they don't get better. Then there's knives that through time, through years, they just get smoother and, you know, the detent gets better and they, you know, just, they just continue to get better and better. And I like that. And Medfords are definitely like that. Um, now I will say this one fresh out of the box was just like this, you know, maybe it broke in a little bit, but it was fresh out of the box. Very, very smooth, smoothest Medford I ever tried was right here. Um, and you know, yeah, it's probably broken in a little bit, but it came out of the box really good. Um, yeah, very, very cool. There's, um, the stars I think are, I think he was, uh, a four-star general, I think, is what it's for. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Um, now, there's probably a lot of Easter eggs on here I'll miss. Um, I'll put stuff up on the screen. You can go look up, you know, things about General Patton and the tank. Now, this seems like it's going to be, it's like a nine-inch knife. Um, I believe that's what I read. And this is going to be pretty versatile. It's going to be really nice for push cuts, you know, cutting straps. Very easy to carry. Um, the tip is not going to be the best for, well... For utility cuts, you don't really need a um, a thin precision tip if you're just opening things up, but there are certain, certain materials that do require a little bit thinner geometry up at the tip, and this is going to be a little bit more stouter. So yeah, you can open things up and everything, and it'll be just fine, but certain materials is not going to be the best. However, for stabbing into something, you're not going to have to worry about nothing. This is going to be very nice. Um, it seems like one that it'll penetrate good without you know, damaging the tip. Very, very durable tip. So um, I love that he's paying homage to General Patent and the tank. And, you know, I think that that's amazing. Um, I think that this is, uh, I like seeing, you know, some of the USA companies do things like this or even just do, doing anything, you know, I love it. And I love that, you know, he put this over travel stop there. It basically just stops you from unspringing the lock. That's awesome. I mean, I think little things like that is really cool um, to, to innovate and grow. And sometimes I think Medford, is, you know, this is no disrespect at all, but sometimes I do think he gets caught in his ways. And I think that he has a lot of room to grow. And I have seen him of recently doing things like that. Like he did the, was it the Ask Knife? That's a, basically a multi-tool knife that's... um going to be coming out and that looks really cool um and then things like this the slim midi so you know he is evolving and i like that i like to see that i love to see companies evolve and do better and better things and you know take on you know new ways of doing things you know as long as it doesn't you know um compromise or hurt your overall you know, build and the things that you, you like in that, you know, your knife designs, you know, like the strength, the build quality, the precision, the fit and finish and all those things, you know, um, knives are getting so good. It's, it's amazing what we can do with knives. So, you know, when you see a knife that's uh, still doing the same thing they were doing 15 years ago, it stands out, especially in today's market. But yeah, I think, um, I think Medford will, will continue to evolve and I love to see that. So, but there you guys go. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.